Yeah, man, Drake Kirkpatrick, man. I hear in Decatur High, you know, pretty much giving back to the kids, the community. You know, I, I got a child myself, and this is something that I always wanted to do. Um, my daddy strayed me in the right path, so, you know, I just feel like I got a voice, so I wanted to give out, give back to the community. Yeah. I'm Gerard Powers, uh, hometown guy here in Decatur, Alabama now, cornerback with the NFL Indianapolis Colts. You know, uh, just an opportunity to give back to the community in this back to school event where, you know, kids can come get some free school supplies and everything they need for school and be able to see some of their favorite, you know, players and guys they look up to growing up, you know, with me me being here from Auburn and, you know, Drake Kirkpatrick from Alabama who recently just got drafted by the Bengals and, you know, just a good opportunity to come, you know, give back to the community on this hot day. You know, a lot of games, a lot of activities for the kids and just come out and have fun and whenever there's a chance or opportunity to give back, I think you should and that's what we're doing here with uh, Caracas and his whole group with uh, you know, the COB movement and everybody come out here and support and it, it's always good for the city to do this. Damien Square came out here with my boy Kirk. you know you know, moving on to the next level it's coming to support the event out here with the kids in the park you don't see this in the community anymore you know when we was young we used to go out and play in the street it was 30 of us you know we all took care of each other but very seldomly you see kids do this nowadays, so just to see these kids come out here, get together, get to know each other, get to know how the community can, how the community can support them, it's just a good thing to see. So. Running back and wide receiver. What's your receiver stance? Uh, see, you got to think you got. You got to keep your own close. I don't play it, but I know how, that, how they how they teach them, though. <laughs> Come on, get down. You got you to be down like this. You got to be low. You got to stay low. See, you need to be a DB. You look like you're a DB. You got, DB got that swag. Okay. You got to have that swag for a DB. <laughs> What's up, baby? How you doing? You good? <laughs> See man, he about to get real serious right here. Hey, oh, y'all see right here. Take your camera, go. Ain't beat the champ, man. <laughs> champ. You might need to me a list or something, man. Huh? What you seeding that thing with? Them burgers. Big boy, you got it. And right there, it's just gonna be Chicago season. Pineapple sauce and Pepsi. And Pepsi, like. Yeah. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. I ain't never heard that. <laughs> I'm from the country, but I ain't never heard. How many Alabama fans we got out here? I don't think I've been back, you know, to a back to school event since I was probably about, you know, nine or ten years old. So to be a part of it and actually, you know, host an event is a great feeling. But uh, you know, the main thing I want to come out here and talk to you guys about, especially the kids. You know, uh, you're at an age now where, you know, everybody around you is going to help you. The community, your elders, your teachers, your coaches, you know, all these people want to help you. And I think it's a, it, it's very important that you as kids need to mind your elders. Parents, don't limit your kids. Give your kids all the opportunities to be whatever they want to be. 
I see a lot of situations where parents limit their kids and don't even know that they're limiting their, their kids to be what they want them to be. When these kids come out and they have unlimited opportunities to do whatever they want to do in life. And as a parent, you must understand that and open up the gates to give your kids an opportunity to be a doctor, be a lawyer, or be whatever they, they desire to be in life and be happy. Just because y'all see us playing football and, you know, we got all the hype, that don't mean that we don't go through adversity. That don't mean that we're living the right and walking the right path. We have to also have someone to lead us and guide us to follow that path. So no matter how big you get and how successful you get, always have somebody in that corner that's going to be your no man. Because a lot of people can be your yes man, but you always got to have that no man. Yeah, man, you got me and Gerard out here, man. Pretty much giving back to the youth, letting them know it's other doors that can be open. You know, you don't gotta settle for less. You know, we come pretty much from the same background and you know, you just wanna make an impact on the community. And I feel like we did a great job and we changed some lives today, even if we changed one. Yeah, we uh, we got a big event. You know, first time, you know, everybody and us, you know, getting together and do something like this is big for the community. You know, I shout out Dre and his people and everybody who came down from other cities to show support. You know, me and Rock, we grew up here, you know, played in this park, in this, in this city. The people, a lot of people out here raised us. And, uh, you know, it's always good when you come back, get back to the community. And, uh, like I said, next year it'll be bigger than this. And we'll just continue to grow and do stuff like that. Shout out to Dre, his hometown, Gas, and we probably going to do something big there soon, too. So y'all just stay tuned, you know. COB, can't campaign of brothers for them, full family over everything with me. And y'all know what it is. J-Rod, Dre, Rock, 100. Peace, baby. Listen, how you doing, man? Listen, I'm Rodney Gordon. I'm from the Cater, you understand? First of all, I want to applaud these boys for coming out, taking time out, being approachable for these kids. Not only for the kids, for adults. Come around, you understand, give back. That's what's up. That's what it's all about. Um, you got some kids out here, man, that some of them don't even have daddies, don't even have role models. And for them to take out their time and come and spend time with them, that's great, man. Hey, look here. Shout out to my boy Rolando McLean, $10,000, gave it up, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. So now, listen to me, and for Gerard, and for my boy Kirk, and for all the rest of these guys, take a bow, standing ovation, you feel me? <laughs>